Alright guys, so it's episode 2 of the Rise and Grind series. Rising, Rise and Grind series. This series is about motivation. Getting up early, getting your shit done, completing your day, and being satisfied with those results. And continuing to do this daily to complete a goal and get to an end result. So I want to be able to translate that into my videos and create more motivational content from that. This morning I woke up at 9, it's currently 10 right now, I've been uh, answering a couple e emails and editing and uh, just working on the computer for right now. I'm going to hop into my breakfast, I'm going to make a quick breakfast and then I'm going to head over to the gym. I got three of these, really good, uh, this is the banana nut one, uh, a cup of this just plain is 230 calories and it's like eight grams of fat 36 carbs four protein i can still fit this in i usually eat like a cup to a cup and a half so usually it's right around four six hundred calories roughly this shit pretty good it tastes good and that's what i like about it and it's just easy to eat easy quick cereal this and a protein shake it's normally around a thousand calories and that's like my first meal until dinner and then dinner is normally like a two thousand calorie meal i fast but I fast because I like eating big meals at night. There's really no benefits to intermittent fasting besides just if you like it. If you feel like it helps you, you like it, and it's an easier way for you to do cardio or easier way for you to diet, do it. As long as you're getting the macros, the calories in routinely, consistently, and you do that consistently, you'll make the same progress as eating six meals in a day. So it's just personal preference. I would highly recommend investing in a food scale. Looking for right about 100 grams. That's 75. 102, I'll take it. So that'll be 460 calories, uh, 50 or 72 grams of carbs, eight grams of protein, and 16 grams of fat. So along with that granola, uh, I put like 100 milliliters of milk in it. I put 400 in this with two scoops of protein. That's normally my standard breakfast. I'll have the granola with milk and then I'll have a protein shake after. And I'm normally good for like, I guess five or six hours. I'll eat another meal at around four or five o'clock, like a small meal, maybe 500 calories. And I have the rest of my calories at night, right around nine or 10, and then I go to sleep. I just got off the phone with Dante. Yeah, he's back from Syracuse now. He's home, school's over. So I'm gonna finish this shake, and then he said they're going to the beach, and said I could go. It's absolutely gorgeous out, it is so hot. I'm gonna have to bring my gallon uh, gallon water jug. That does come in handy. I don't bring it to the gym, I bring like a, uh, a liter jug, because I don't know, I don't feel like carrying, I don't know, just gallon seems like a little too much, it's cliche. I'm gonna get ready for the beach. I already got my shirt on, I got my shorts on, shit's looking good. What beach are we going to? Well, you gotta tell me. I don't know where to go. Yeah, we're gonna go we're gonna wall and then we're starving. All right, that sounds good. All right, cool. Then I'll just I'll I'll head over to Ocean City like right now or a bit like very soon now. All right, if we get there before you, I'll let you know where we are. And if you get there before, I'll let you know where you are. All right. Okay. Sounds good. I'll see you soon. So yeah, it is a gorgeous day. I'll be going to the beach. It's the first beach day of the almost summer. I think it's still spring. We're in. We're in May now, right? Yeah, we're in May. Uh, so I don't know when summer starts. I think it's pretty pretty much June when summer starts. But it is like 88 something degrees out, so it is beautiful. Today deserves to be a beach day. This is the only time these sunglasses are ever going to match an outfit. Literally ever. These are just so odd, strange. I don't know why I have them.
here. Bucci and all them, Thompson, they're all hanging out over there. I'm gonna check out the beach with the drone real quick. See how packed it is. Uh, there's no shoebies here, thank God. Probably in like one more month, all the shoebies will be coming packing up the beach, but really it's not that busy. That was a quick one. Recently, I tweaked my neck in um, my training. So, <clears throat> I was deadlifting, uh, I was working up weights, I was doing sets of 495, and I heard and felt like some kind of crack in my neck. Like, not crack, it like a, I don't know, I heard some kind of noise come out from like around here. And then immediately my neck tensed up and it, I was very uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, it's been like three days now. I feel a lot better. Um, it's slowly getting better as days go by. But yeah, so we're going to see how that training goes today with that tweak. Um, I'm probably just going to be doing some light uh, accessory work. Maybe bench, maybe squat. I'm not sure, but uh, I guess I'll see when I get there. I only have like an hour to work out because it's today's Sunday. The gym closes at 8 and it's 7 o'clock right now. So. Because my neck's tweaked and I don't really feel comfortable squatting or deadlifting right now, all I can really do is bench. I'll show you some hypertrophy work and kind of run you through my program or what program I'm running right now. I construct my own programs. Uh, I do what works best for me. I've run other programs in the past, but they didn't work exactly with how I felt like training and how I like training. So. That's basically what I put together, a personalized program for myself. My buddy Dante is learning a sumo deadlift, so I'm gonna give him critique or uh, form critiques throughout his deadlift and let him know what he should be doing, what he shouldn't be doing, how he can fix his foot position. Right now, I actually adjusted his foot position before he was a little too far inward and his knees were facing forward and not at an outward angle. So I fixed that, his stance is looking a lot better right now, which is really good. I'm looking forward to see how he pulls here how he feels comfortable. His hips are open, which how they should be. Not bad. Let's see. That actually looks really good. Tip. He should be keeping the bar a little closer to his shins when he's coming up, but that's not a big deal. Let's check out back rounding, if there's any at all. Nope, no back rounding. Slight, slight rounding, but that's completely normal and that's okay for deadlifts like this. It, as long as you're not breaking at the lumbar, with right down here, you're completely fine. You can see that his hips, they don't shoot up when he pulls, which is a big problem for a lot of people that uh, start deadlifting, especially uh, conventional. Oh, that last grinder, oh, okay. So that looked pretty good. Uh, I would try to keep the bar a little cl closer to your shins. Yeah, it's gonna help you a lot because what's happening is you're getting, you're, you're set too far forward. You're having a lot of forward lean. Yeah. And because that's because the bar is a little forward. So try to keep it a little tighter your body when you pull it. Okay. So make sure you have it over midfoot when you begin the lift and keep it close to the body. It'll help you get the weight up easier. Yeah, well, then play around with it, see what you like. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot of personal preference, but for the most part, you don't have any backgrounding. Hips look fine, you're not shooting up. Foot placement looked a lot better than it was before, yeah. You looked a lot more natural. Yeah, you looked a lot more natural doing that. You're learning quick on sumo, so that's good. Um, yeah, just keep the bar a little closer to your shins and have it like guided up your body with your leg. I would suggest getting like long socks or like yeah, knee sleeves or something. People, like, take the hair out of the yeah, it, it scratched. I couldn't wear knee sleeves at my competition. It scratched oh. the fuck out of me. Like I was bleeding all down my leg. Dante is getting over a knee surgery. Uh, what exactly did you tear? My MPFL. Your MPFL? Yeah, it's the oh. ligament that holds your kneecap in place. Okay, so the ligament that holds Dante's kneecap in where it should be was completely torn off and his kneecap was on the back side of his knee. So he had to get surgery and now he's just recovering back from that. Now he's deadlifting, squatting. His leg is getting stronger, hopefully. One, one big plot on the 
Dude, Dante used to have massive calves. Okay, he has, look, okay, that's some big quads and like nice calves right there. Like, I, I respect that. He's always had the massive calves and quads in high school. I finally, finally grew my quads bigger than him. But it took this long, he only has one quad now. <laughs> like, recovering from like an injury like this, it's not like, like a little neck injury or an elbow injury. This, like, you literally tore a ligament in your fucking knee. So, the fact, he's coming back strong with deadlifts. I'm surprised you're like, Moving this weight pretty well. How does your knee feel? Oh, this? Yeah. It doesn't, I don't feel it. You don't feel any instability no, or anything? No, it's not like that different like, huh. than this quad. Okay. I don't feel any instability at all. It's like Do you feel a difference when you're pulling? No, I like, don't. Really? I mean, at first, I literally like, couldn't pull because I felt yeah. like my knee was just going to give out. Mm -hmm. But right now, like, with this brace on, like, yeah. there's no instability. And yeah. it's a shorter range of motion, <laughs> so. I pulled like 275 or something. Huh. Like, Single? Yeah. That's not bad. It did not feel good. No. Oh. Well, I was like, honestly, if you keep training deadlifts, squats consistently for the next couple months, you'll probably be working in like the high threes. Yeah, I hope so. I'm sure. Deadlifts play. blow up quick, and especially when your leg starts coming back. Yeah, it'll come back quick. The doctor said that the other day. He's like, the summer it should blow up. It's like, I might be running by the end of the summer. So. Oh, shit. Yeah, he can't even run. 15, we were on 15 months. <laughs> oh. Last night we are How's your neck feel? Uh, a little cramping on my right side. Okay, so the gym is literally closing in 30 minutes. I have to get my accessories done within 30 minutes. This is gonna be some cardio right now. He's. Lateral raises and then what else should the fuck? Tit raises. What else is chest? Nipple nipple tassels. Break it? 
It probably doesn't. Does it look good over here? Should I show you the other side? There's tan lines there. Oh, you can see them? A little bit. Thank you. 